Hello my friends, I welcome you to this tutorial where we are going to build a voting app using Marine Stock. That is, we are going to use MongoDB, Express, React and Node.js. But before we go through the features for this project, guys, I have some bad news for you. And that is, this particular channel has been hacked and there is no option than to create a new one. So if you want to follow along for this project, please just click the link in the description below to subscribe to my new channel. So with that being said, let's see the demo for this project. So before I proceed, this app is in production right now. And I built this app for my startup company and it's called um, easyvotegh.com. And you can visit there and you can have a look at it. So before I proceed on, we are going to de uh, develop this app in two phases. For phase one, we are going to build the back end with most of the features in this app. And if this video gets more likes or more views, I'm going to develop the front end as well. So with that being said, let's see what this project has for us. All right, cool. So first we have the dark mode and the light mode. So you can turn it on and turn it off. So it's a voting platform where we vote for um, nominees and contestants, right? So let's see what it entails. So for the home page here, as usual here, we have our hero banner here and this are our payment that we, are, we can receive on this app, right? This app, you see visa payment and other payment based where I am. And then you can click on this link to view um, the demo for this project, right? Because it's in production. And right now there is one company who is hosting their voting on this app and it is live. Cool. So for this, we can filter. So let me change it back to light theme. So for this, we can filter by date, end date and starting date. Cool. So we select something, maybe um, ending date like this one. Um, guys, sorry for the fireworks. It's a new year here. That is why you that kind of fireworks over there. Cool. And we can also select the category of the award. And here we have only one company running at the war at the time of recording this video. And we have some call to action and give you the overview of our dashboard, what it looks like. And that is for that. And here we outline some call to action to give you how it works. So first of all, you create an award, you receive voting and you get paid. That's the process for this. And here there is nothing fancy going on and some companies are partnering with us and some and some uh, review here. So let's look at the features that it has. So first of all, because this is in live, I don't want to temper with this. So I have the demo one, which looks exactly the same thing as the original one, the one in production. But this one is running on localhost, so you can play around with this one, right? So here, before you can create an award, award scheme, let's say you are running maybe a, a, let's say a presidential award, right, or election. First of all, this is for institutions, companies, and some um, individuals who want to run their award. So let's say before you start creating an award, we need to what? Create an account. So let's say, let's register for this and the email for this one. Let's go this one, admin. Admin at gmail.com. And the last name, let's call this one, admin. And then, hey, sorry, the first name here, there is email here. And we see the validation. Let's call this one, Ben. And then the company who is want to run their election. Let's call this one, I Novotech. Right, and let's select the company logo to upload. So let's select any of these images as a logo. And you provide your telephone number, any, and let's say my password is like this, and I set and register. And you see this spinning, right? And it's loading. So let's see the message. Well, registered and will be what? Redirected. And cool. <laughs> Ideally, we have been redirected automatically. So let's log in here using admin at gmail.com. And now login successfully, you will be redirected after four seconds. So let's wait and boom, there we go. So now it has greeted me to my dashboard and I see 
uh, most of the features here so before i can start creating an account i need to verify my account right so i click on this one and you see that verify your account please contact this telephone number right or at the same time we, we sent you a message to your email to verify cool so before we can do that because we are in the look um what do you call it um in development mode let me um verify this particular user um manually and this is the code for that so let me come back to my controllers where i have my awards and this and there is the error message that is coming up so before i try let's see in the register because right now we don't have any award going on so let's create our new award and to, for new award let's call this one best developer in 2022 and then let's select image for this particular award so let's say this is the image for the award and let's have some dummy text here by visiting lauren text here so let's have some dummy text and let's go to google oh sorry not this google yeah so let's search for some lauren text here lot of some and then let's generate some dummy text and see all right so let's copy this and then come back here and then let's paste remember i haven't verified my account but as soon as i create let's see the, the loading here you see that rejected account not verified so like i said because you are only on a local host here let me do it manually over here so let me comment out this logic that is preventing me now to create an award so let me create here and now let's see award is creating all right and with some minutes i think um it has created it right it's loading okay so let's wait and successfully and just clear my for my form so let's check let's open this app on a new tab and you can see that we have new award that is going on that is best developer in 2022 so here for this award we can have subcategories meaning for best developer we can have best html developer best node.js developer or whatever but right now we don't have it right so to do that we need to add it here so coming back to my dashboard and i click on all awards and here you can see that i can add category i can edit or update right but for now we don't want to edit it so let's just add or we can delete then give me some pop-up window for now no so let me add category so let for this one let's say best best node js developer developer like that and let's give it here because we are going to receive payment from users who vote so let's say that for this particular award anybody who votes we are going to charge this person one dollar or 0 0.5 dollar per vote so let's say 0 0.5 dollars and here select the starting date let's say this date and the ending date is that and then you select your notification type by email as soon as somebody votes you are going to send email to the creator of this award so let's click on create and you can see that award has been created right so let's check if we have one more award here being added this is uh, this and we see that now best developer in 2022 has one category so but if i click on that you can see that there is no category under this particular award because the admin has not published the award the category under that so let's go to categories here and you can see that here we have a couple of options that we can do that so to able to receive money for this particular campaign or this uh, category of award you need to connect your bank account but because um, payment differs from different countries right so here i'm going to select my bank and here we can use any of the bank so let me choose any um my bank account here And then let me add bank account and I'm going to check wow this is my account number so i will proceed to the next step and then here i'm going to name my sub account name meaning my 
account name for receiving money. Let me call this one Novotech. And it's gonna be the same way for this business name. So I'm adding this one to that. And let's say you have successfully connected your bank account to this award. Start to collect votes now. So if I go to all awards and now, and let's go sorry, categories here. You could see that bank connected. But here I can publish this award or unpublish it. So if I click on publish and then yes, and then I check it out again. Let's go back to home page. You can see that skeleton window uh, loading. If I click on that, now I have this award and the days left. So here we want to receive some, we, we want to receive um, contestants. So if you look at the final one here, the one in production, this one, you can see that we have number of um, contestants contesting for a particular award. You can see that we have this one and we have almost five or six people contesting for this. So it has a bunch of contestants, um, award categories here. So here, because we haven't opened application, there's no way we can apply. So let's go to my dashboard here and then click on open application. So if I do that and I refresh the application, now I can apply. So I'll click on this and now I can apply. So I say best name, let's say um, Kimi here, first name, Kimi, and then last name, let me call this one Joe. And then phone number is whatever. And my email is Kimi at gmail.com and then country let me call it ghana that's where i am and then um, let me copy some description your reasons for applying and your slogan let me say vote to change that's my slogan then my bio too and a link to my profile my social media link so let me copy any of this link uh, it's one of my social link and then upload my profile photo and let me just use this one for the most purposes and then I'm a mail and then that and register. All right. So let's see it's loading and I cannot register. I see that it has been successfully registered. Cool. So if I come back here and better still, I want to see the number of contestants. And here you see that I have this person. If I click on this user, I can view the details about this user. And I can add comment and say that, hey, wish you good luck. Wish you. So for this, this user can share this link to receive payment, vote from, um, from his members, right? I can say, good luck, boy, whatever. Okay. And then I click on post. All right. So if I refresh it, you can see that I see the comment from this anonymous user. Okay, cool. So when I go to my dashboard, I can manage those who have applied my contestant. So let's check the registered contestant who are contesting. So the admin has the opportunity to filter, to reject the application or approve. So when I click on view details here, let's see the application details for this particular user. And you can see that I have the details of the user, the full name, email, the slogan, the bio, and this. So when I click on reject, it means that this user is no more part of the uh, contesting for the award. So if I click on approve, and now if I go to approve contestant, this user is, let's see, is there approved. And I click on this one, I can reject. Now here I can add vote manually to this. So this, let's, let's say that after voting, okay, let's go, let's go and vote. So if I click on this and I click on this user, I can view his profile of this particular user and I can vote for this. And here one vote is equal to 0 0.5 as we stated. And this is my currency. All right. So let's say I'm giving this user 20 votes. It means I'll be charged for 20 Ghana series in my currency and I provide the email of the payment. And when I click on that, let's see the processing. So I'm paying this and let's see the magic because this is a testing mode, right? Because it's in the local host. And if I click on confirm and let's see the payment, the payment is going through, right? So let's wait for patient. Let's have some patient and see, boom, payment successfully. So now the admin 
has a chance to view his transactions. You see that we have base node developer and I click on this. Let me click on home page. Okay, the home page, right? And let's click on transactions. Because the payment couldn't go through because we are on local host and my webhook isn't working. So in live, I'm going to see the transactions being here, all the transactions being paid for this particular user. So for now, we can also go back. Let's check. Okay, let me go home here. So let's say we want to view the result of this award. So if I click on this one, sorry, yeah, this one. So let's view, let's check, let's, yeah, here. And now, assuming we had, we are done with the voting, so we want to check the result. So the admin needs to open the result. Otherwise, nobody can view. So let's go to categories. And now I can show result here. So I click on show result. And now everybody can show their, can view the result for this particular award. If I can, if I close the application, now nobody can apply because the voting has ended. So if I refresh this one, and you could see that now there is no application here, but we see the V result. If I click on V result, and there is one person which is Kimi, and that is the position number one, and there is no voting yet. So let's add manual voting apart from the the payment one. So the admin has the opportunity to do the manual voting. So if you go to sorry approve contestant, and then you click on view details. And then here you want to say, I want to give this person 200 votes and say that this miss vote is from Bok vote. If I click on add vote, so it's added. So let's see this one. So let's refresh. We see that the 200 vote has been added to that and you see that number one. So this will give you the result as well. And I can change that to back Y to dark team as well. So that is what uh, entails. It entails a lot. The logic is complicated, but I can, I'll make it really simple for you guys. But like I said, I will develop the back end, but most of the features, for example, the payment, uh, maybe I will not do that one because the payment integration differs from country to country, right? So I will do the basic ones and most of the features like voting and then the dashboard analysis, analysis of the dashboard as well. So guys, this is all what I have for you. So if you're happy as I am, please like my video, share and comment to promote me to do more videos like this. So catch you up in the next video.